So BJ, I remember the day you walked into my studio. Yeah. Well, it happens every day. Well, But I this say. particular day you walked in and you had a, a track to show me. A track yeah. that was being played on the radio at that point in time. Yeah, it was a, it was a great track. There's some... Funky some elements. Funky bass riffs. And uh, some dance elements. And we thought it'd be great to write a pro song like this. It would. And I, I remember a discussion you and I had about um, Holy Spirit, actually. Mm. Not really being... Um, we didn't really have any praise songs that were built around Holy Spirit. Essentially. Well, I think in the world in general, there's not a lot of songs that focus in on the Holy Spirit in praise songs. Yeah, you I know, agree. A lot of worship songs with the Holy Spirit as the theme. Yeah. But we thought, man, it'd be cool to really just dive into this in praise song, have a, the whole theme about the Holy Spirit. Yeah. But then trying to find the right words to, you know, give people the whole picture and imagery of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And I think one of the, the greatest examples is um, when they're in the upper room, the Holy Spirit um, falls on that room and yeah. and obviously amazing things happen. Yeah, There's the sound of sure. a rushing wind. Um, and that's where we, we draw upon those words in the chorus. Absolutely. I really love that that song encapsulates a hunger um, in praise, mm. like which is epic. We get to that chorus and it's come right now, Holy Spirit, come and have your way in this place. And it's amazing that whenever we cut to that chorus, hands go up straight away. Uh, there's, there's immediately a response in the room, which I love. Yeah, every single time. And we, you know, we've been doing this in church now for over 12 months. Yeah. And still, it still feels fresh. It still feels like a great song. And one of the awesome things was, um, you know, going into this style, making the use of dance and incorporating dance. We've started using it at church and we used it at conference too. Yeah. So getting these these guys dancing um, and, you know, they've got a whole routine that they do to it is, is so powerful. cool. Yeah. It, it just encourages and stirs people to praise even more. Absolutely. We're always trying to come up with fresh sounds, new sounds. Like, I'm making it my life's mission as a producer never to recreate the same sounding song. Yes. Because God is so creative and surely there's, you know, endless amounts of creativity Absolutely. for us to tap into. Mm. And so every song I'm producing, I'm searching for that new sound. And so we thought, man, this would be cool just to start this song with a really sort of iconic sound that um, every time you hear we it, haven't you heard know. before, but as soon as you hear it, you know it's yeah. that song. Yeah. And, um, you know, intros of songs are very important because you want to grab people straight away. So we thought, let's just use this sound here. And bam, straight into the verse, where the, really the whole verse is centered around the slap bass. It is. Which is just, Awesome. It is awesome, and, I love it. And Josh Hand does a great job on the bass. Um, but you know, it's got that funk element, but still that dance feel um, that we all love. The standout thing to me is that Holy Spirit actually moves yeah. whenever, we, whenever we sing it. Whenever we're focusing our attention and our hunger on Him, he, He's so faithful to respond. And in that song, I've just seen such powerful moves in our church, at, a, at our conference. Um, it, it was an instant breakthrough song. Yeah. It's what we want. Every time we are leading praise and worship, we want God's power to be released so that every person can have an encounter because we know that when you're having an encounter with God, your life gets changed. Yeah.